Hey everyone, last week I showed you how to order the free online disc of Ubuntu, the live CD. Once you've ordered it, you should receive it in the mail, and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to run it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to switch your computer on, or laptop or whatever, and as it's loading you want to press F12, um, or whichever is your boot option. Um, for Dell it's F12. Um, could vary from system to system. Um, it could be F8, it could be F5, but it's basically when you've got the boot up, the first boot screen that you see, you press it. There's probably an option up here which will tell you, you know, which one to press, which button to press to get into the boot option. You want to get into the boot system. Um, so it's loading up the uh, one-time boot, which is what they call it in Dell. Um, we'll just wait for that to load. And there you go, a screen looking something a bit like this will appear. You can use the up and down keys to select. What you want to select is the CD or the DVD or CDRW drive. Um, it's the second one down for me. And once you're happy, once it's highlighted over the option that you want, you press enter on the keyboard. Now at this point, you've got to make sure that your Ubuntu disk is in the system. So, so put your disk in and then switch the computer off and then switch it back on. Um, so my, my disk is now in my... Um, in my laptop drive and I'm just going to press enter on the CD DVD option for boot. Uh, you'll hear the disc whirring away and something will pop up looking a bit like this. It will say language, obviously up and down to the language you want. The default language it will be on is English. Once you're happy with the language you want, press enter and you'll get this menu. This menu, in case you can't see it, says try Ubuntu without any changes to your, to your computer. Sorry, Install Ubuntu check CD for defects, test memory, boot from first hard disk. We want the top option. This is trying Ubuntu. You don't have to, you know, this will run straight off the CD. It won't change anything. So if you've got Windows already pre-installed, you can just run it straight off the CD. If you want to install it, go down to the second option and press enter and follow the stages there to install it onto your operating system. I don't recommend you do this unless you're sure that you want to get rid of Windows, you're sick of it, and you want uh, to try out Linux. But if you want to try it out, and you can try it out again and again and use it again and again off this disk. Press the first option and press enter on the keyboard. It may take a bit of time to load, you'll hear the disk whirring away again. Um, and <clears throat> it may appear to have frozen, it hasn't, don't worry. It's just going through stages. You'll get a black screen and uh, then you'll get this, which is a, uh, which is a kind of uh, progress bar going from side to side, working out the system specifications, working out whether your system can run this operating system, which most can, most from 2000 to Vista, uh, Windows XP, Windows 7, most of them can run Ubuntu. And there you go, uh, the progress bar will now appear and it will go, and this will be the loading stage the first stage may take a few minutes and then you'll get this, the progress bar. Um, and depending on how fast your system is, is how fast this will load up. And once it gets to the end of the progress bar, as you can see it almost has, then the screen will go black and then you may see a tiny, uh, tiny dash in the top left hand corner of the screen for a few minutes. It'll work out the system display and then you'll get an X and then an arrow and then an orange background and as you can see the cursor has now appeared we're now waiting for it to configure and load up all the system settings uh, this may also take a few minutes uh, again depending on your system and the power of it and then the intro noise should pop up um, and then you'll get a tiny cursor uh, in the centre of the screen, which as you can see you can now move around, you've got full arrow functions, you'll get a nice background looking a bit like this, or it may be a bit different depending on which version you've got. Um, and there we go, this is Ubuntu for you guys. Um, basically, you've got two screens, um, which you can change in the uh, bottom, uh, bottom right hand corner, a grey or an orange one, so a bit like tabbed, but they're tabbed screens. Up at the top, you've got applications, 
you've got places, so your desktop, documents, music, etc. system, and you've also got um, three programs up here. You've got Firefox, which you can load up. Um, and as you can see, there's tabbed uh, there's tabs across the bottom, a bit like Windows, as to what what you've got open. There we go. We can maximise it. Uh, go onto a website. I'll play around with that. On applications, you've got accessories. So you've got a calculator, text editor, things like that. You've got games. You've got graphics. You've got GIMP pre-installed, which is a bit like Photoshop. You've got Office. So um, You've got Open Office Word Processor, Spreadsheets, Presenter, uh, Presenter, and Evolution Mail and Calendar. You've got a dictionary. You've got uh, movie player. You've got uh, Rhythm Box music player, sound recorder, um, a disc burner, and uh, you've got some more internet options. So a terminal server client, transmission BitTorrent client, things like that. It's a really great system. Play around with it and have a bit of fun. Comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching guys, please subscribe.